Hello everybody, this is Panda here with a t video, with a video, not a title, I was going to say title, with a video titled What I Learned with all the stuff that has happened in the past two weeks. So I may or may not poke fun at some people, and I don't mean it to be a comedic um, rant. I mean this video to appear, at least, in a sense that it's educational. It's something that I just want to get off my chest, and I, I want to share with you what I learned. From, from the past two weeks of all these events that are going on. So let's start with the Sonic movie trailer and just the Sonic movie in general. There was once a wise young lad on YouTube. I don't know if he's still there. I know he has an Instagram account, but th there was a young lad who called everyone freaking idiots and his words ring true to this day. You're all freaking idiots. And when will you learn? that your actions have consequences. The answer is never. Sammy, the answer is never. We will never learn. What I have learned is that Sonic can take a beating. Oh my God. We have Sonic 06, Sonic Boom, Sonic the Movie. <laughs> Let the guy breathe. Let him die in peace with Sonic Mania. What happened there? That was a great game. Could we just leave it at that? Nope. Why? because money anyway that's what i learned from from the sonic movie trailer moving on to the pro jared scandal which i'm not going to talk about in detail but i will give a brief summary of what happened from my knowledge anyway because i'm sure there's still things we don't know about things that are have not been said yet and who knows who knows what's going to come out of this but what i do know is this apparently a youtuber named pro jared cheated on his wife heidi i don't know her last name with someone else named Holly Conrad, who is, well, I, I don't know, would you call her a YouTuber? I freaking, she's an influencer. Let's call her a social media influencer. And not only did he cheat on his wife, but apparently he sent full nude pictures to his fans, underage and probably non-underage, to receive pictures back of them fully nude. Uh, I don't know if they were fully nude. I, we, we don't know this, but we do know that he did send as disgusting as this may seem, he sent full nude body pictures of himself to these people. And he also exchanged pictures with Holly, too. That, that's that's confirmed by his wife, Heidi. And, uh, yeah, that is just a shit show. I am I feel really bad for Heidi. I hope she moves on. I hope she just forgets about this and just doesn't interact with him anymore. Now, to be honest, though, and to be fair, I don't know much about Pro Jared. From what I've seen from his content, he seems like a weird individual already, but that doesn't justify him cheating. It doesn't justify the actions he does. That's just me giving my first impression about him. He just seems weird to me. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. It has nothing to do with the current scandal. On the other hand, Holly Conrad, whom I've been following for a good couple months, maybe six, seven, eight, maybe ten months, so almost a year, not quite, I just didn't see this I could not see her doing this based on what I've seen from her on the internet so that brings me to another lesson that I've learned and something that we should all know by now but we're gonna be constantly reminded about anyway and it's this people on the internet are not as they seem including myself I try to be as transparent as possible but I'm sure there's something I don't want everyone to know about what what like that I drooled in my sleep I don't know but some of the weird dreams I have I'm sure there's something I don't want people to know about me but other than that I try to be as transparent as possible and for Holly to have done something like this to cheat uh, with, with a person while they were married or in a relationship of any kind is just almost unfathomable and personally what i want to get out of this is an apology video from pro jared because those are always fun to watch it's a great way to tell whether someone's being sincere or they're just full of shit and from holly i would like to see more transparency on her social media and i i'm actually disheartened that she is taking a quote unquote leave of absence from social media for a time being and that that kind of makes me sad too not just disheartened but very, very sad. And now I briefly want to talk about the Tati and James Charles controversy, even though I guess this is mainly going to be focused on James Charles than Tati. From what I've heard and seen, especially what was covered on the Philip DeFranco show and PewDiePie's channel, apparently all this started with Tati making a video 
titled by Sister, which was, of course, <laughs> to go after James Charles for what he did or didn't do. I'm still not quite sure. However, the gist of it, from what I understand, is that James Charles made a brief post on his Instagram page. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was personally to advertise. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I'm not quite sure. But people speculate that it was to advertise um, a brand that was in competition with Tati's brand of pills, vitamins, whatever the hell she makes. I don't know these people. I'm not a part of their community. I'm just telling you how I see it. And because of that post that was on James Charles' Instagram, apparently Tati made this video which has a crap ton of views right now and is not looking good for James Charles because I guess the direct result of that is him losing hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers. Now, I'm not going to give reasons as to how I feel this is stupid or uncalled for or possibly called for or how it's justified or any any of those things. I'm not here to give my opinion on which side is right in this scandal. What I'm here to tell you is what I've learned from this scandal. What I've learned is that you have to be extra, extra careful as to what you do on the internet. And this is something that everyone should know by now who's been here long enough. We should all remember that every time we post anything, even this video, even me, I, I could be doing an oopsie right now and I don't even know it. But every time you post anything on social media, you will get criticized. Good or bad things may happen. I don't know. We, we never know. So just, I guess, try to be more thoughtful when you're posting stuff on social media. I, wait, what else am I supposed to take from this? Freaking, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's what I learned, though, from this, this scandal. And now I'm going to be even extra careful as to what I post, as to what I say. I guess one thing that I can say to summarize all of these events, all of these scandals happening right now, is that A, be very open and communicate well with everyone, regardless if you have sponsorship with them, if they're mentoring you, if you're a partner with them, or you, whatever just have a good source of or a good line excuse me a good line of communication between one another so nothing like this can happen and b be transparent what what else can i say like just be you but be transparent about it don't i don't i don't know don't be fake there you go be transparent don't be fake that's the best i can uh say in regards to wrapping all this crap up. As a side note, I still firmly believe that Friday by Rebecca Black is one of the worst songs of all time. And I'm talking about the the actual contents in it, the lyrics, the mix, the singing is by far the worst. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true, Rebecca. Someone needs to tell you if I'm, if no one's told you this before, then they're all lying to you. They're just straight up liars. And it is still my firm belief that you can torture anyone with a song. All you have to do is put headphones on them, normal volume. You don't even need to raise the volume. Put it on loop five times. So that's almost 20 minutes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, no one is mentally sane enough to not break from telling you anything you want to know if you force them to listen to Friday five times in a row. And that's what I've learned today. So until next time, see you later.